Today I give you some insights of my last self-painting from last Sunday. This time I went a step further with a remote shooting. It was for a film shoot that is supposed to motivate people to be creative despite the crisis and to think about how to survive with their means. During this remote shooting, photographer Dimitri Moisev from Canada was yeah. able to release the shadow with my camera. The camera was mounted on a tripod. Dimitri directed the shooting and he also put the settings of the camera and he said what we should do in the studio. I'm just gonna adjust exposure down by Get into it and it was super amazing. I'm so happy we can create our art during the crisis from wherever the other person is. Do a couple looking at the camera as the well. The photographer just need a computer where he can direct the shooting. This is really awesome experience. And now I also share something of my painting process with you. As always, the day began very early before sunrise. The day before I had made the sketch and I think it has something of a beetle. I put on two cool black effect lenses. Beetles always have black eyes with me. So first I put the covers of special effects on and then a mask of healing earth on the hair. I love this material that you can get in any drugstore. You put a little bit of water and glycerin in it and you can use it to form your hair into a sculpture that has no hair texture at all. The nipple covers are from Andrea Benocci from Italy. I also give his link below where you can order from them. Doing the remote shoot was challenging at the beginning, but you get into it and it's definitely much fun. It's such an amazing tool to work with your photographers across the Atlantic or somewhere where they are in the world. Just go for it. If you want to book me for your remote shooting, just write me a message what you would like to do. You're the one who can decide what I should paint and what we should do. I am looking forward for your request and see you next time. Bye!